let's begin Parkinson's. So what are the questions that they can give it to you? So these are the two possible scenarios that you might get. Your FY2 in GP surgery, your patient is Mr. Chadwell. He's 80 years of age, has come to you because of some concerns. Talk to him, assess him and address his concern. All right, that's absolutely okay. You're after in surgery, the patient at 80 has been diagnosed with Parkinson's and is prescribed Mardopa. What is this Mardopa? Because always in Parkinson, you give a combined medication. So this is a Levodopa plus Benzazide combination. Uh, they will tell you that. You don't need to worry. Talk to him, assess him and discuss the management plan and assess this patient. So sometimes this station coming as a history station. Sometimes it is coming as a counseling station. Right. And in both, they are expecting us to do the examination as well. Because whenever patient is coming for the review, it is understood you have to do the examination as well. Okay. So, Mostly you can expect counseling station because in the history station, it's very difficult for the patient to act as well. So mostly counseling station you might get. Whenever you're having the station on uh, Parkinson, what are the things you need to check? You need to ask for the symptoms. The patient has got any symptoms or not. What are the symptoms you have got? First of all, you have got the tremors in the history. You have got resting pin rolling tremors. Right. Number two thing that you have to check is muscle rigidity. And number three, third thing that you need to check is bradykinesia. That is slowness in the movement. If you have got these three things, most probably it is Parkinson's. But as I told you, mostly they give you the scenario only where it is diagnosed case of Parkinson's. So what you will do, you'll ask the patient, how are you feeling now? Doctor, I'm feeling better. Do you still have symptoms? No, doctor, I'm feeling better. Do you have tremors? No, doctor. Any muscle rigidity? Not really, doctor. Are you able to do your daily routine things properly or you are feeling that you are pretty slow? No, doctor, I'm able to do these things as well. So this is how you can do the assessment of the patient. What else you should ask? You can ask for some bowel-related problem, bladder-related problem, sexual health as well. Because sometimes you'll see patients have got bowel-bladder-related problem as well. The reason could be muscle rigidity. You can ask the patient if you are able to do your daily routine things or not. Mainly like, uh, for example, buttoning the shirt and shoelaces, for example. So patient is going to be struggling in that. Why? because this is how they will be doing the history. Yeah, so it's gonna be difficult. So these are the history points. Uh, these patients have got micrographia as well. So you may have a pen and paper as well. Make sure you use it and you tell the patient to write it down something and they will be having micrographia. They'll be writing very, very small. Then as patient is taking the medicine, ask the compliance. If patient is taking this medication regularly as prescribed or not. If patient has got any side effects of the medication or not. Right? So all these things you will be asking. That is going to be your history. Quick history, obviously. And uh, the patient has got one concern. The concern is if my tremors are going to come back. Okay, we'll answer that question because in counseling, that can be the question because doctor, once you started me on the medication, I'm feeling absolutely, absolutely fine. I feel it's a wonderful medication, but my concern is if my symptoms are gonna come back, if my tremors are gonna come back. Okay, let's do the quick examination. So what happened is when you're doing the examination here, you may not have any positive finding when you're doing a counseling case of Parkinson because patient is already on medication. When patient is already on medication, patient may not have the symptoms. You understand? So 
What is the examination that you can do? So first of all is the inspection. So now I'm going to examine you for the purpose of examination. I can see you adequately exposed. Thank you for that. I have a chaperone to ensure your privacy. May I proceed? Yes. And any pain anywhere? No, I'll be gentle and quick at any point of time. You feel uncomfortable. You want me to stop? Let me know. I will stop my exam. Okay, first thing is inspection. So there are a few things that you check on the inspection. You check for facial expression, you check for less frequent blinking, you check for typical stooped posture, and you check for the pin rolling resting tremors. There is no test you have to do for these things. You just check. This is just the inspectory finding. Simply say, I'm looking for resting pin rolling tremors. I'm looking for lack of facial expression. I'm looking for typical stoop posture and I'm looking for the less frequent blinking. All right. So lack of facial expression, less frequent blinking is why? Because of muscle rigidity. That's what you need to check. Also, you can check the tone in the upper limb as well, where you will be able to find out if there is any lead pipe rigidity or not. Then you have a second thing, which is your bradykinesia. Bradykinesia is the slowness in the moment. You have got four options, guys. Number one is finger tapping. Number two, hand grip. Number three, pronation, supination, and the toe tap. Do any one of it. Finger tapping. Hand grip. Pronation, supination. And then the toe tap. You just tap the toe and the on the floor. Choose any one of it and tell the patient to do it at least 10 times, 10 times. Either finger tapping or hand grip or pronation, shoot pronation or toe tap. Choose any one of it and tell the patient to do it at least 10 times. And what do you need to check? You need to check the slowness in the movement. That's it. And the last is the gait of the patient. So you ask the patient to stand up. Make sure you are there to support the patient, patient in case patient feels a bit uh, uh, dizzy or they're about to fall down or so, right? So they will walk, they'll stand, they'll be having typical stooped posture. When you ask them to walk, they take time to fly. They're going to walk there only for a few steps, little, little, small, small steps, and then only they're going to go further, slowly, slowly, small, small steps. When you ask them to turn, they'll take so many steps and then only they'll be able to turn. That's a typical short shuffling gait that you will see in Parkinson's. However, when patient is already on the medication, they may have a normal gait as well. That's the thing, right? So that's the that's the that's the main thing. The scenario that is coming is the counseling of this Parkinson, and you'll ask all these questions, and you do the examination. You may not have any positive findings. Why you don't have positive finding? Because patient is already on the medication, and the medication is working. That's why the patient may not have the findings at all. But when patient is coming for the review, you make sure you do the brief examination as well. You do not miss that point. Okay, one thing. In a patient of uh, Parkinson, do we have dementia or not? The thing is, dementia can be there, can be there, can be there, but it is going to be the late finding. So, in Parkinson's, you will not see dementia as a very early sign. It is going to be there as a late finding, late finding. So, you don't need to... But you can ask one question, that's not a problem, but it's a late finding. And answering this patient's concern, if my tremors are going to come back, I can see you are concerned about the tremors. And uh, the thing is, it is a possibility that tremors can come back, but I want you to be regular with the medicine, right? But if you feel that tremors are coming back, what you can do, you can also come back to us and we can review your medication. We can make uh, some changes of the medication as well. That's going to be your management. So that's how this can be managed, this scenario. So it can be coming as a history station, it can come as a counseling station, but most probably you will see it as a counseling scenario, right? So that's your history and that's your examination. All right.